Hola, hola, good evening. Hello, 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 good evening, good evening, welcome. Can you hear me? Yo pensé que no me funcionaba. <laughs> okay, uh, Jennifer, no problem, thank you. Let's see, please uh, turn on your cameras. Déjese ver, déjese mirar. Ahí están, ahí están. Bien reluciente vienen ahora del fin de semana. Pareciera que no es lunes, right? Pareciera que es viernes. Algunos ahora vienen con una gran alegría. ¿Qué habrán hecho? ¿Qué les ha pasado? Good evening. Good evening, good evening, welcome. Let's start, let's see, faltan, yo sé que como es luna, ¿va? se les ha pegado la colcha. Ya sería el colmo que tuvo por estar dormido. Bueno, pueda, ¿verdad? Que, que tanto cansancio te despertando, Byron Giovanni, para entrar a la clase. Yeah. <ríe> tanto que hoy ni background, Byron Giovanni, ¿qué le pasó a su oficina, Luxury Office? No, no se acordó de poner su office, ni tampoco ha venido el que pone la, ahí viene Juan Antonio, el que pone su living room, ahí está, ve, ya, ya, ya está, ya está. Ya está, ya Ok, let's see, let's see, todavía falta, mire, solo vemos 16. Vamos a dar unos segunditos en lo que se conectan. Make sure that you have full name in the app, that you have a, your camera. Okay, so let's start. Okay, let's start. Um, uh, I don't know if you did something special, something different uh, during the week, and I hope so. I hope so that you did something special, uh, something different. Okay, aunque sea, yo los molesto, digo que... Um, todos, aunque sea a recoger piedras a algún lugar que hay ahí, ya es algo diferente. ¿eh? Uno sale a recoger piedras todos los días o ir a, a contar los colores de los vehículos de la calle, cuántos verdes, cuántos blancos. Así, eso créame que distrae bastante. Or to go uh, to buy bread. I'm sorry, one more time, yes, what did you say? Or to go uh, to buy bread. Okay, to buy, um, buy what? Presents? Bread. 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 Ah, bread, yes. okay. Yeah, it can be, can be an action, right? If you have time during the weekend, so you can go ahead and, uh, you know, go and eat something, bite something that you really like it, right? Like sweet bread. <laughs> Most of Salvadorians, we love this sweet bread, right? So, my goodness, who says I went to El Tunco on Saturday night? So, Ana Maricela, my gosh, she went to the... Uh, el Tunco. No, ya ve otro nivel. Otro nivel. Don't invite, don't invite a classmate. Ajá, uh -huh. and she didn't, right? In the past, she didn't invite us. Okay. She didn't invite us. Okay, but anyway, right? That's, that's the way it is. So, look, uh, thank you for your cameras, right? For the ones that are already with the camera on. So this is the last week, right? So ya estamos ahí que se acabó la, el módulo, right? So this is the last one and it's nice, okay? It's nice because um, you are in a, getting a, 
progress, right? So you are giving like step by step, little by little, you are in a step ahead, right? Un paso adelante, okay? So step ahead, okay? It's nice, it's nice. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Now we are the cuarto. Hoy sí, mire, ya apenas sabemos 18. Y ya pasaron siete minutos. Okay, so, but anyway, so um, this is the last week uh, for the attendance. If the, uh, today and tomorrow, most of you will be in the 80%, right? That is like the target. Uh, that you need to get at the end. Con esto no digo que el que ya tiene 80 ahora o mañana ya no venga. No, tiene que venir. Aunque ya tenga el 80, ya tenga la plataforma, este, ah, ya ni me conecto. No, right? So the idea is get more than 80, right? La idea que saque más del 80 porque no va a ir de panzón ahí, ¿verdad? Raspándose ahí como minuta para llegar al siguiente módulo. O sea, tiene que llegar arriba del 80, ¿no? Con el mínimo, sino lo máximo que usted pueda. Um, let's see. Uh, we are going to... Um, let's see what happened right here with my phone. So we are going to try to cover most of the uh, topics that we have for, for the, the course. And I would like to finish like on Wednesday. In that case, uh, fr uh, Thursday, that will be the last day, right? We can do like a recap, a review, we can review something that probably you have issues with, right? So that, that will be the last day. So you know what is the meaning of issue, right? When I say issue, or issues in this case, issues. You know what is the meaning of that? There is a song as well that it's called like that, I guess. ¿Sabe cuál es esa palabra? ¿No? Sí sabe de cuál estoy hablando. Es I-S-S-U-E-S, -S -S, right? Issues. So this is plural, right? Ahí porque está en plural. So singular, that would be issue, right? Just Errores, one. dice. Ajá, errores, ah, ¿sí? there you go. Asuntos, conflictos, problema. Ok, usted me dice, I have a problem. Claro que yo le entiendo, I have a problem. But that is basic level, right? Basic English. Usted me dice, I have an issue. So, intermediate, advanced, ok. Ahí dice la persona, ah, este tiene otro lenguaje problem, le va a decir allá el básico, right? I have a problem, teacher. I understand. No digo que esté malo, pero usted me puede decir, I have issues with the simple past, right? So, tengo problemas igual, right? So, nice. Um, let's start with the attendance. Déjenme moverme por aquí. Ya es hora de la asistencia. Y deje ver aquí qué pasó con este documento que siempre se Se reinicia, pero vamos a ver acá. So, no hemos preguntado la fecha. Dios guarde. So, Kevin Alexander, tell us what is a today date? Okay, today is Monday, Monday eh, 10. No, today is Monday, eh, July 10th. Uh, 20, Perfect, okay. Both are correct, Kevin. No es que esté malo si usted me dice 10 ju July, July the 10. Los dos son correctos. July the 10, that will be American. 10 July, that will be British, okay? Yeah. Es decir, ah, este, este, este tiene acento británico, por eso da la fecha al revés. <laughs> okay, okay, no, no es you. que esté mal. Okay, nice. Uh, let's see, grupo de ocho a nueve, dice. Vamos a ver. Lista de asistencia. Vamos a ver acá. So, Ada Verónica. No la he visto, Ada Verónica, hoy. 10 July, right? So, no está. Eh, then we have Alexandra Jamilet. Alexandra, no. 
Eh, Alexis Giovanni. Hmm, Dios mío. Eh, Alicia Pérez. Nice. Uy, que no se la escucha. Alicia, sí, ¿verdad? Es, then we have um, Brenda, I'm sorry, Ana Marisela. Ana Marisela. No. Dios mío, hoy ha sido el día de no clases. Brenda Claribel. It's me, teacher. Ok, nice. Uh -huh. De aquí me están escribiendo varios ahorita que algo ha pasado porque no. No sé. Vaya, Brenda Clary, ahí está. So then we have Byron Giovanni, ahí está. Nice. Um, let's see. Then we have Carlos Antonio. Ya está también. No, Carlos Antonio, no, no es Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio. No. Eh, Cecilio Antonio. Present, Miss. Thank you, sir. Uh, then we have uh, Jacqueline Vanessa. No está Jacqueline Vanessa. Uh, Jennifer Arevalo, sí. Ya la vi. Um, Present. Nice. José Alejandro. Eh, ya no vino. Eh, Juan Antonio, ahí está. Catherine Andreina. Present teacher. Nice. Catherine Giselle. Catherine Giselle. No. Eh, Kevin Alexander, ahí está. Here, teacher. Nice. Lenin Hernández. Present, Miss. Nice. Leticia Judith. I'm here, teacher. Nice. Luis Alfredo. Luis Alfredo. Dios mío. María Magdalena. Present, Miss. Nice. Martín de Jesús. I'm here. Nice. Miguel Antonio. Miguel Antonio, ¿no? Eh, Nelson Eduardo. Permítame que aquí. Nelson Eduardo, ¿no? Eh, no es Ezequiel, por ahí vi que estaba en el chat. Normalizar. Norma, no. Eh, Olivia Reisha. Present. Nice, Olivia. Then we have Oscar Alexander. Me pareció ver que estaba. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Zaira Idalia. No. Eh, Silvia Esther. Silvia Esther. Dios mío. Alguien que haya entrado y ya lo había mencionado. No me gusta. One at a time. No me gusta esta asistencia con un montón de falta. Luis Alfredo. Este, Luis Alfredo. Vamos a ver. Luis Alfredo. Ahí tiene. ¿Quién más? Alexis Ramos. No, Marina Alexis, Maya, no, tampoco. Alexis, ¿quién? Marina, ¿cómo me dijo? Alexis Ramos. Marina Maya de Marta no mencionó tampoco. Vaya, ahorita. Alexis Ramos. ¿A quién no mencioné? Dio cuarte. María Magdalena. A mí sí, mis. ¿A quién no mencioné? ¿Alguien más? No.
Bueno, al final igual voy a validar porque es que hay un montón de gente aquí que no tiene la attendance. Pero bueno, so let me uh, share the screen really quick. Vamos a ver a dónde están los manuales. Okay, uh, what does she look like? Por aquí nos quedamos, right? Appearance. Creo que, no sé si les mandé unas imágenes de appearance, porque aquí solo tenemos a few titles, right? Creo que sí les envié. So, appearance, okay? So you can, you need to be able to describe yourself, appearance about you and probably about your friends, your family, relatives, right? So just give me <laughs> one moment. Okay, so let's see. ¿Dónde está nuestro grupo? Tanto grupo aquí. Ocho a nueve, este, sí, ya tenemos ahí el attendance, right? So this week is the last one, right? So we are aware about that, that we have to complete section number five, right? The 50 rest percent in the final exam. Eso ya está claro. Esto dice nota final del curso. Se estará tomando jueves 13 de julio a las 9 de la mañana, es decir que tenemos hasta el miércoles, right? Because no creo que estén a las 4 de la mañana ya completando eso. Ajá. So, y creo que no hay problema, right? So we are clear, nadie puede decir, yo no sabía que este que tenía que terminar para el jueves a las 9 de la mañana y nos mandaron el mensaje. Bien, so let's see. I don't know if you are able to describe yourself. So about appearance, okay? Nice, Noé, you already finished the platform. That is amazing, right? Let's see, uh, Jennifer. So we don't know you, like details about you, but I don't know if you can describe yourself, how you are about appearance, mm, okay? Uh -huh. Jennifer Arevalo, so how you how you describe yourself or how you see yourself? So about talking about uh, appearance, right? Jennifer, creo que no tiene audio, no sé. No, escríbanos ahí en el chat, Jennifer, no sé si es que Hola. tiene un gran problema. Oh, go ahead, ok, now yes. Sí, se me escucha. Yeah, now yes, go Perdón, ahead. Perdón, ¿cómo? ¿Qué, ¿Qué me dijo? Ok, so the question is, how you describe yourself, talking about appearance, right? No si es este, enojada, alegre, no, ¿verdad? No estamos hablando de feelings, estamos hablando de appearance, right? So how you describe yourself. No sé. So remember the words, right? Remember the words that we have. Um, For example, mm -hmm. I have a short hair. Uh -huh, you have short hair. What else? What else? Remember? Continue. Continue. Yeah. yeah, everything, okay? Oh, okay Did you okay, remember? Okay. Hair, age, Hair. the type of your eyes, colors. Yes. Okay, I, I am Brenda. I have a, a straight black hair. Um, I think age 
middle age. Middle age, okay. Uh, looks uh, good looking or pretty. <laughs> um, my eight A is um, a medium eight. Okay. Yes, that's right, teacher. Yeah, that's right. That's yes. right. Remember, um, I don't know if you keep the, the, the pictures that I shared with you last last class, right? Last week. So okay. I, I like physical appearance, right? How you can describe uh, uh, features or facial features, body types, hair, skin, complex. So there are more than uh, just age, hair, and height, right? Yes. So hay un montón de cosas. You can also mention the color of your eyes, the your mouth, your lips, okay? If you have a beard, if it's you more... have a mustache, the color of your hair, if you have an oval face, if you are like, um, you know, uh, green eyes, I creo que no. <laughs> Oh, it's me, teacher. It's me. <laughs> no, no he visto nadie aquí con green eyes, pero bueno, it's como que no, no ve bien, ¿verdad? Usted dice, Brenda Clarivet. <laughs> yes, teacher. I think it's, I look up pretty. <laughs> <laughs> okay. With filter, but, but it's, it's really good. <laughs> now, now, nowadays, with, because of the filters, right? So we can change the image, right? So, oh, ve, yes. ve una foto y cuando mira a la persona en realidad, so that's a different story, social right? Social media appearance is very good. Yeah, and social media. And other impression is other person. <laughs> Definitely, right? It is something else, okay? Uh -huh. Nice. So, let's see. Volunteers, who wants to describe yourself? Vamos a ver, habrá un voluntario que se describa. Solo uno. Raise your hand. My miss. Okay, Maria Magdalena, go ahead and then uh, Byron Giovanni, please. I uh, I am pretty. I uh, I have a string black hair. I am middle age. My eyes are black and my face is round. Only that. Okay, perfect. Very good. Very good, Magdalena. Let's see Byron Giovanni. Okay, I can try. Uh, my hair is a uh, short black. Uh, my face is oval face. And uh, my ears is, is medium, medium ears. And um, body is chubby. Like a little okay. chubby. Yeah, a yeah. Little, a little chubby. Okay, nice. Thank you. Okay, very nice. Let's see, Marina. Marina Amaya. Yes, okay, miss. I am Marina. I am hardworking person and happy mother. I have brown hair. And the color of my eyes brown too. Okay, very nice, Marina. You are a happy mom. Okay, very good, very nice. So, um, what we need to see right here, it's, uh, you know, you need to be able to describe, keep the words uh, for you. If they are new words, so keep it in mind, right? So, si usted no había visto, por ejemplo, elderly, Ok, quédese con esa palabra porque en un futuro usted necesita describir algo, alguien, alguna cosa, objeto, persona, X, right? So you need to know which ones are like, uh, which ones are the, the, the ones that we can use for a man or for a lady, right? So it's not the same, right? For example, handsome. So nowadays, uh, you know, normal, we say the handsome is just for men, right? So if you have a lady, if you have a woman, you will say pretty. But if we have a couple, right? So we can use the good looking as an example, right? So at least keep in mind which ones are for females 
and which ones are for males, right? So masculinos, femeninos, and the neutrons, right? The ones that you can use for both, okay? So uh, we are going to continue because of the time, right? She's uh, very tall, okay? That's the name of the conversation. Uh, she's very tall, okay? This is a conversation between Emily and Randy, okay? I will make it a little bigger. Okay, so it says, I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Listen, gorgeous, gorgeous, really? Uh, what does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet, 2.1 supposed whoa that is tall uh what color is her hair she has beautiful red hair and how old is she i don't know she won't tell me okay so my god that lady is really tall right <laughs> that's two one suppose right six feet nice uh do we have new words right here No hay ninguna palabra nueva que usted diga. ¿Y eso qué es? Um, uh, I studied the, the image in next week. Uh, sorry, last week. Um, para mí era nueva, gorgeous. Um, empecé a buscar significados y videos y todo. Y ahora pienso que yo soy gorgeous. <laughs> Okay, yeah, you are, you are. So, gorgeous, did you know that word? It's just un, un adjective, right? So, similar words, okay, the, the adjective, okay? You can say gorgeous to a boy or to a girl or to a, like a baby, uh, right? Things, so, I, uh, in things, no teacher, no use the words. Um, Probably. Probably, yeah, but that will depend like the feeling, right, that you have for something. But that would be better for a person, right? Can be a, a kid, a, a baby, right? So nice. No words that you don't know. So estamos bien ahí. Todo se comprende la conversation, right? Okay, so because of the time, so we are going to practice just one. Okay, let's see. Um, Luis Alfredo B. Uh, Randy. And let's okay. see, Leticia Judith B. Randy. I'm sorry, Emily. You are okay. the lady and Luis is the man, Randy. Go ahead, okay. Leticia. Okay, okay. I heard you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name's Ashley and she's Georgius. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is dark. What color is her hair? Her hair. She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Okay, perfect. Okay, very nice. Okay, so remember just the intonation, right? So every time that we have a question mark, an exclamation, comma, so we need to learn how to read the, the punctuation, right? It's very important. So let's continue. Okay, so describing people. Okay, we are about to see. Okay, how can we describe someone, not just me, right? Uh, it, it's nice if you are able to describe yourself, right, how you are, but it's more important to be able to describe other people, right? Let's see, we have different ways we can describe um, general appearance, age, height, and hair, right, the color, the style, right, everything. So, let's read, okay, general appearance. Uh, let's see. Um, Brenda Claribel, help us to read the examples, the two questions and the answers for general appearance. Okay, teacher. 
general general appearance. What does she look like? She tall with red hair. She gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. He has a beard. Okay, nice. General appearance, right? General appearance is uh, the simple question. Ya esa pregunta ya la hemos visto anteriormente si no estoy mal, right? When we say, what does he or she look like? No, estamos preguntando que qué le gusta, right? We are asking cómo es, okay? If I say, hey, how does your mom look like? No le estoy preguntando que qué le gusta a su mamá, le estoy preguntando que cómo es, right? Cómo es su mamá físicamente o puede ser de sentimiento. Si usted me contesta, she is really friendly, it's okay. Me está describiendo cómo es ella, right? So, what does she look like? Oh, she's tall with red hair, she's gorgeous, right? So, different ways that you can answer the question, right? No vaya a decir, ah, she likes cook. No, right? Porque no le están preguntando que qué le gusta a ella, sino que cómo es físicamente o oh, de sentimientos, right? Feelings. Uh, what does he wear? Does he wear glasses? I'm sorry. Does he wear glasses? Yes. And he has a beard, right? So como cuando a usted le preguntan por alguien y usted empieza a decir, no, mira, es uno que tiene el pelo largo o oh, mira, es alto, delgado. So you start describing, right? Cuando usted quiere eh, ubicar a alguien con alguna persona X, right? Usted dice alguna cosa que describa a la persona para que cuando lo vean o la vean, so entiendan, ah, es que es una persona bien delgada y bien alta, va a sobresalir, usted va pendiente, right? So that's the general appearance. So let's continue with the age. Uh, let's see. Uh, Juan Antonio, help us. Uh, I'm sorry, I guess you have, you are eating, okay? No. Mm, it's okay. <laughs> okay, sorry, yes, Antonio. Pero, uh, it's okay. Age. No problem. Uh -huh. Hey, how tall is she? She, she's one meter eighty-eight. She's six feet two. Mm -hmm. Oh, only this uh, part or another one? Okay, it's okay. Thank you, Antonio, no problem. So we have age, right? How old is she? How old is he? So this is a basic question. Esta pregunta desde allá, desde el básico, usted la viene viendo, right? So how yes. old? How old are you? How old is your mom? How old is your father? How old is your best friend? So the correct way is present. I'm um, sorry, it's, this is better to be. Nunca, a veces ya me han dicho, I, I have or she has, right? Eso gramaticalmente es incorrecto, okay? Siempre que hable de edad, Usted va a usar el verbo to be, ¿ok? She is, I am, he is, we are, they are. So, the verb to be. She is about 32. She is in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s, right? <coughs> Sorry. Do we have a clear idea when we say 30s, 20s, right? Estamos bien ahí, no hay... Se entiende, right? ¿Qué es lo que estamos diciendo? Como cuando no quiere decir la verdad de cuántos años y dice ah, los 30 y algo, aquí ya no se pasa de ahí, right? So, nice. Then we have H, the, the um, yeah, the height, right? How tall is she? Ah, she's one meter 88. She's six feet two, okay? So normally Americans, ellos no dicen Nosotros medimos como en metro, a uno dice mido un metro ochenta, así decimos en español, right? In English, they talk more about feet, hablan de pies, ok? So por eso ahí el libro lo pone como six feet, right? Seis pies con dos, ok? So that's how they normally say the height, right? So no, no le van a decir un metro, es raro. Eh, how tall is he? He's quite short. And the last part that we have is the here. Uh, let's see Cecilio Antonio, help us read the uh, ideas about here. Here, how long is he, he hires? It's medium, medium length. 
What color is this hair? It's dark, light brown. He has brown hair. Okay, thank you, uh, Cecilio. So this is hair, right? How long is hair? Hair, right? How long is her? Hair. It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark, like brown, and he has a brown hair. Aquí sí, mira, aquí sí puedo decir, él tiene cabello café. He has, ahí sí, en la edad, he is, ok? Aunque la traducción, pero es que él tiene 20 años. No, pero en la edad es el verbo to be. No puedo decir, he has 20 years old, gramaticalmente incorrect okay so let's see we are going to write questions okay we need to write questions about the statements that we have right the extent statements are these ones then compare with a partner okay puede hacer varias varias preguntas que hagan match con la respuesta usted necesita la pregunta la respuesta ya la tenemos let's see a number one as an example if i say my brother is 26 so what would be the question? ¿Cuál sería la pregunta si yo respondo my brother is 26? How old is your brother? Perfect, how old is your brother, okay? So let me take a screenshot right here and I'm going to send it into the, into the group because we are going to complete, okay? So there are, let's see, there are six, okay? So try to do one more, haga unas siete preguntitas, okay? So, deje ver aquí en el chat que me han puesto. Ah, how old is your brother? Okay, perfect, okay? So how old is your brother or how old is he, right? Las dos son correctas, okay? So let me uh, create the groups really quick and try to create uh, seven, okay? Seven, haga una más. Ahí va a crear usted seis. Y va a crear una más. Vamos a crear nada más cuatro grupos para que entre más el grupo está numeroso, entre más nos ayudamos, right? So, cinco minutitos and we are back, ¿ok? Are we clear with the instruction? Ya le envío aquí la imagen, ¿está claro lo que va a hacer? Sí, estamos bien. Va a crear las preguntas, right? De esas respuestas. Y va a crear una más. Con pregunta y con respuesta, aunque no esté ahí. ¿Ya? ¿Estamos bien? Ya. Yeah. Ok, ahorita les envío aquí la, la captura porque me ha quedado algo raro, pero bueno, vamos a crear los, los groups right here.
Nancy, welcome back. Sorry. So, do we finish? Había como dos personas ahí que se salieron, creo yo, no sé. No eh, o no les dejaba conectarse, creo que era su caso, Cecilio Antonio. Pero ahí sí, o sea, es cuestión del Inter, como se los he mencionado, si tienen baja eh, conexión del Internet, se queda ahí como conectando y no le permite. So, let's see. Uh, number one, we have the first question, right? So, we did it. So, uh, how old is your brother or how old is he? Okay. So, let's see. The number two, uh, let's see. Uh, Lenin Hernandez, read the question and also the answer, please. Sería, how tall is, how tall is you, are you? Okay, how tall are you? And the answer? Lenin? I'm one, no. I one hundred thirty three. Thirty three, thirty three. What happened with the numbers? Seven. Okay, one hundred seventy three. E CM. Okay, that will be five feet eight. Okay, eight. so let's see the question. You say, uh, how tall is? How tall are you, right? There you go. Let's see the next one. That will be for um, Catherine Giselle. Read the question and also the answer, please. Um, how tall is air? Entry. A mm -hmm. sharp room fires. Okay, read the question one more time, yes, sir, please. How color is air? How or what? Giselle? How? how. Okay, so what? Remember the how it's como, right? How long? Como es? Largo, corto, colocho. Pero en este, color, en este caso le estaba preguntando del color, porque mire la respuesta, Sharon has brown hair, right? So what color is Sharon's hair or hair, right? Hair, hair. ¿Qué color es el cabello de ella o el cabello de Sharon? Oh, Sharon has brown hair. Nice. Let's see. The next one that will be for um, Oscar Alexander. I don't know if you are there, Oscar. Oscar Alexander, no? Bien, entonces, Martín, Martín, go ahead with the number four, question and answer. Does ahead, she, uh, does she, um, does she wear glasses? No, she wears contact lens. Very nice. Okay, perfect. That's the, the question and the answer. Let's see. Um, the next one that will be for um, ya no hay a quien preguntarle. Maria Magdalena, please. Number four, teacher. Five, five, number five. Number five, okay. She is still very uh, uh, what does he look like? The answer? Uh, he is tall and very good looking. Very nice. So how does he look like, right? So he is tall and very good looking. Nice. Uh, let's see Antonio, Juan Antonio, the next one. Number six. 
Okay, yes. Um, how long is the uh, how long is the uh, system here? Okay, so how long is uh your sister's hair can be right your or hair here hair. okay okay my sister okay. hair is medium length okay marina mm -hmm. the last one please thank you antonio excuse me number six yeah the, the last one the last one please my sister, how you my name? What is? I, I have dark brown eyes. That is the answer. Number seven, Marina, the last one. What is the color? What is the color of your eyes? Okay. What is? the color of your eyes, okay? So, I understand, but creo que ahí quedaría también, um, what does you look like, okay? Because he says, I have brown, I have dark brown eyes, okay? What is your eyes colors, right? So what color are your eyes, can be, okay? What colors are your eyes? I have dark brown eyes, okay? Now, the last one, vamos a ver, the last one, uh, Byron, Giovanni, the, the one that you invent, okay? La que usted iba a ser adicional. Okay. Yeah. Uh, for, for, uh, for is your mom look like? I'm sorry, one more time. How, 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 how your mom look like? Okay, can be, right? Can be, nice, okay? So that is uh, the extra one, okay? La que ustedes adicionaron, okay? So, my mom um, is, mm -hmm, go ahead. Is, uh, right here, and uh, yes, yes. Face is, uh, uh, I don't know. Okay, Maybe. she has like an oval face. Okay, oval can be. Face. Okay, perfect. So let's see. As a homework, please, tomorrow we can start with this one. Okay, so try to answer this question. Okay, trate de incluir todo. Trate de incluir general appearance, age. Uh, the type of the color of the age, the, the eyes, height, okay? Trate de ocupar todo el vocabulario, no solo decir eh, tiene cabello largo, cabello corto, sino que una description más específica, okay? So what does your mom look like, okay? So va a describir ahí cómo es su mamá. Eh, creo que todos tenemos, si alguien no tiene, pues, Describa cómo era, ¿verdad? Si sí, sí, no es el caso, porque eh, no sé si todos tienen esposo o esposa, ¿ok? Pero bueno, el ejemplo ahí, lo importante es que me practique, ¿ok? So, what does, uh, let's see, uy, no estoy escribiendo. Uh, what does your dad look like, ¿ok? Si no tiene invente, es que no tengo papá, invente ahí que es feo, grande, lo que sea, ¿verdad? Right? So, um, what does your uh, wife or husband, para el que tiene esposo o esposa, look like? Okay, so escriba ahí como es su esposo o su esposa. Okay, and um, what does your sister or brother, para el que tiene hermano, hermana, 
que no tiene invente. Brother uh, look, look like. Look like, okay. And the last one. Uy, espérame, que aquí me equivoqué. Look like. Okay, the last one. Um, what does your uh, boy or girl, okay, dependiendo que tenga, look like. Si tiene los dos, pues describa uno de los dos nada más. What does your boy or girl look like, okay? So, para que practique, describing people, creo que es suficiente con esas cinco preguntitas, because um, we need to practice, right? No, vea las palabras que yo le mandé, no solamente las que tenemos en el libro, puede usar vocabulario adicional, como es la forma del rostro, el color de sus ojos, etc. Right? So I have just one minute, okay? And I need to validate the attendance. Necesito que me confirme si está presente Ada Verónica, Alexandra Jamilet. Good night. Okay, I'm Alexandra, here. nice. Ana Marisela. I'm here, Miss. Nice. Eh, Carlos Antonio. Present teacher. Nice. Jacqueline Vanexa. José Alejandro. Eh, Miguel Antonio. Nelson Eduardo. Norma Lisette. Zaira Idalia. Silvia Esther. Bien, mi modo. Varios quedaron ahí sin asistencia. Eh, Norma Lisette está presente. Ya le corrijo ahí su asistencia en este caso. So time is over. I have to move on to a different uh, class. So tomorrow we have class. The same time, the same link, the same everything. So good night and see you tomorrow. Okay, take care. Bye bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.